Volunteers joined together to help the Gulf region return to its normalcy after the BP oil spill. Sometimes the birds have come in with fractures, um, not necessarily a result of the oiling, but they can have secondary problems um, that have happened to, to them. Um, we also take a small blood sample from the animals to give us an idea of their internal health, something that we can't see from the outside. Uh, once we've finished the exam and we've taken our sample, we'll put the birds and I'm going to around over into this area here by that little signpost. We call it our dirty bird stabilization area. Uh, the birds will go into that area in a cage that's appropriate for the species. They'll get fluids, they'll get uh, some nutrition, probably by gavage where we put a tube directly into their stomach and give them some calories and some fluids to try to bring them, bring them back a little bit. While some workers cleaned up the wildlife, other volunteers worked to restore their habitat. Contracted from all over the country come down and they, every morning they come out on what's called a John boat or Joe, or Joe boats, they're two different kind of boats, and they come out with Coast Guard members and they have a morning brief every morning and talk about what they're gonna do. And they basically, every morning they go out and they walk the beach or they ride on the back of ATVs and they go and they take their shovels and any big oil uh, patties or tar balls that they see, they take in and they put in bags. And they fill them about halfway so they don't become too heavy. And with those bags, they collect them at the end of the beach. And every day um, since we've been down here, we're collecting about 2,000 to 2,500 bags every day. Um, we also saw some tiger boom today. Tiger boom, there's two different types of tiger boom. There's a shoreline tiger boom, and then there's um, offshore tiger boom. Onshore is full of water to make it heavy and it's tied down, two booms stacked on top of each other. And since the beginning of this oil spill, down in Burwood Cot area, the National Guard came down and they laid hundreds of miles of these, uh, what's called shoreline tiger boom. Offshore tiger boom is not full of water, it floats, and it's, it's a very hard boom and it's heavy, so oil cannot go between it or underneath it. And it's anchored down with two anchors and one in the middle. And the 